G'day guys, we're just going to make a bit of an update video. I haven't made a video in a while. So we're just going to make a video, bit of a video of what's been going on in my shed. A uh, bit of a shed update and see where we're going. Alright. Well, first off, we've done a bit of a reorganisation. We'll do a pan around. Um, so yeah, we've done a bit of reorganisation and i got a new mill. And it is, it's made, it's a CVA, I don't know whether you guys can see that, there we go. CVA, Jigs and Moulds. There we go. I paid 300 bucks for this machine. Nearly uh, killed ourselves bringing it home. Uh, we did it with our little 6x4 box trailer. Uh, and bloody near me, we nearly died. Almost. We managed to punch a hole in the trailer with the... Uh, shaft of the mill here. This punched a hole through, clean through the uh, sheet metal of the trailer floor. Um, bit rounded so we're probably going to have to fix that one up. Luckily no damage. Uh, that shaft is actually for a worm that goes in here to uh, pivot the head. So you undo these bolts and then you can um, swivel the head like that. So the head swivels 90 degrees both ways and it's connected it's connected by this bracket here the motor sits on this uh, the motor's at the shop at the moment, rewinding shop, I'm getting it rewound uh, it's more, it actually cost me more than the mill it cost me $350 for the rewind and $300 for the mill so yeah, <laughs> what can you say? Uh, it was worth it. We'll get the machine going. We're gonna get. We've got a VFD like on the grinder over there. Um, here's my little surface grinder. Um, yeah, so we got a VFD coming on the way for the mill. Um, so it'll be interesting. Yeah, so we're gonna keep this one I think because it's good for drilling holes. It's a really these these round column machines. They are they're good for drilling holes, but they're not much good for milling really. So it's the biggest drill I've got. So we're gonna keep it as a drill press when we've got this going because the uh, clever people of CVA they've designed the spindle so you can't actually accept the tang of a drill so you can only put in um, tools with a drawbar like this collet chuck yeah, you can't put in a drill with a tang it just doesn't fit, there's no slot so you can't actually use drills because it's not a drilling machine, it's a milling machine so yeah over here on the lathe, we're using the lathe for the first time in a while we've been busy with work, we got a so we're second year in our apprenticeship uh, at a small company. We do pumps and gearboxes and things. Um, I'm struggling a bit there. I'm like a bit of a bastard of a job, but what can you say? Not much. Anyway, we're working on the lathe here. We've got a collet chuck we started to make finally. So yeah, we got up this nice lump of material. Started boring it out. And the funny thing is, it's got a hard spot. I'm boring it out with high speed steel tool. Um, I'll show you the tool. Uh, where's my tool? Yeah, we're boring it out with a high speed steel tool and it bores really nicely until you get just here. You can see there's, um, there's a hard spot in the material just where that step is and it really doesn't like it. It cuts really nicely until it gets there and then just chatters like a bastard. So we're going to uh, get some new carbide boring bars because this one doesn't work for some reason, not sure why. Uh, so we're going to get a new carbide boring bar during the week and uh, give it a go again next weekend. Let's take the belt tension off. So yeah, we move things around a bit. We've got all of my machines at the back here. And all my tooling and stuff. And Yeah, got this new bad boy to work on. A nice proper machine, I love it. No, no longer have to worry about floppy, floppy quill and like sloppy head and losing my alignment. It's beautiful come here and crank my handle and my table goes up what more could you want it's bloody beautiful sitting nicely next to my atlas shaper so yeah it's all coming together bit of a pan around there got a, little, got a plasma cutter sort of unreliable but great when it works And of course I've got a beautiful view 
right outside my shed. <laughs>